Traditionally, Labor Day marks the end of summer, but for one southwest Arkansas campsite, severe weather at the beginning of this summer brought death and destruction and will never be forgotten. Yet today, campers are trying to move forward. Water flowing through Albert Pike campground is friendly this Labor Day. However, earlier this summer, the water was far from that. A flash flood swept through the area, killing 20 people and closing the site for most of the summer. There's a lot of damage. It's, it's really sad to see what's been lost and to think about the lives that have been lost. Part of the campsite has reopened for day use only. And folks like this Cass County family are back to lend their support. Just coming to see what damage had been done. We still have, uh, my brother has a cabin here. The water didn't get into it, and, but other family members have cabins and they lost uh, about everything. The Barbas family of Texarkana owns a cabin at the site and they say things are far from normal. Here. Every side would be yeah. people camping. All this There's people, people camping up. all up in the woods and See yeah. a lot of hikers. The water, there would be people everywhere. Although the summer of 2010 created bad memories for Camp Albert Pike, many who have visited the location in the past say they will be back, like this Houghton, Louisiana youth group that's already making future plans. It is, but I want the kids to all see it. We're planning a trip here probably in the spring. In spite of the damage left behind, Labor Day visitors try to enjoy nature and all that she brings. Oh, it's been great. I've caught three fish right as soon as I got here. Two half pounds and a pound and a half. Funeral arrangements.